loaded. So let me give you guys real quick a love story, bro. Amazing love story. This is a sick love story, okay? This is a love story. I don't ever want y'all to forget about this love story. Well, this is a sick love story, okay? This is what happened. Back in, this is back in the old days, like Islamic golden era. Like there was a time when Muslims ruled the world, straight up. There was, right? We don't hear about it a lot in history, in our history books. If you go find the untold books of history, you'll find that Muslims ruled the world. Bro, if y'all don't know, especially y'all African American Muslims, subhanAllah, I'm telling y'all, go research the kingdom of Mali at Mansa Musa, bro. Well, at Timbuktu and stuff like that. Wallahi, bro, your mind will be flipping out, bro. Like black people that were like freaking amazing, bro. Straight up, and, and they were amazing, why? Because of Al-Islam, that was it, man. And everybody knew about Mali, and everybody knew about Mansa Musa, and everybody knew about Timbuktu, which was like the greatest center of learning of all time, and heart of Africa, bro. Straight up, so don't forget about these things, right? Now, you know, in this love story, this was in a time in the Islamic golden era, right? And what happened was back then, they didn't have like a they didn't have like a shopping mall or like or like Tyson's Corner or like Hoffman Center or like I don't know like Pentagon City. They didn't have this, these kinds of places. What they had back then was the soup. The soup was like a bazaar, it's like an outdoor marketplace. Now this time it was raining. Okay, so it's raining outside, but this guy was he you know he was going to the souk and it's kind of like a muddy it's like a muddy day because it's out there in the open, you know. And so he sees this girl from afar. And he loses it. She's like so beautiful, like the most beautiful girl he ever saw. So he's like super boosted. He's excited. He's a good Muslim, right? Don't get me wrong. Like he knows about the eye of the Quran. Like you know, tell the believing man, and believing woman to lower their gaze. He knows about that stuff, right? But he saw he, she's so beautiful, right? And so he goes up to her. He says, "Sister, sister, sister." Assalamu alaikum. I'm sorry. I, I just I had to stop you. You are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. I have to marry you. Please let me marry you, right? And then you know what she said? She knows she said to him, she says to him, you know, she, she obviously probably is feeling, I said, oh wow, he's so sweet, you know, like, so what a nice guy, right? So she says, you know what, I'll tell you what, if you can convince my father, right, to, to let, you know, to let you get my hand in marriage, then I'll go ahead and I'll accept, I'll accept your proposal, I'll marry you, right? He is so happy, he's like, oh my God, yes, like the jackpot, it's like lottery, right? He's like, I'm about to get the most beautiful, like, Muslim sister, like, to, to marry me that I could ever possibly imagine, right? And then... She says to him, she says, but I have to let you know about one very important thing. I have a sister who's so much more beautiful than me that I'm afraid that if you marry me, the minute you see my sister, you're not going to want to have anything to do with me anymore. So he says, what? Are you serious? Like, this is, that's crazy. There's no way she can be more beautiful than you. And so she says to him, look over there. My sister's walking up right now. He says to her, where, where? And he just starts to look around. He's looking for the sister. By the time he turns his head back around, smack. Smack right in the face, right? And he falls on the ground. He's muddy. His clothes are muddy. His stove is muddy in the middle of uh, in the middle of the rain, right in the soup, right? And he looks up. He says, "Sister, why did you do that to me?" Right? She said to him, "Didn't you know that the lover never takes his eyes off of the beloved?" This is a deep, deep, deep principle, right? The reason I brought up the story is why, okay? Because when we love Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. When we love our deen, when we love al-Islam, we're not supposed to put our focus on things which are less than that, right? One of the things that Allah subhanahu says in the Quran, you know, would you exchange that, right, which is lesser, for that which is better? You know what I'm saying? Would, I mean, would you, would you exchange that which is better for that which is lesser? Like, would you give up something which is so amazing and so good for something which is not even really worth it, right? So, I said, you know, in the beginning, I had people that I knew, I'm telling you, there were kids that like, you know, let's say like, you know, drama, right? They have like drama in high school and stuff like that, like kids that do theater and stuff, like they, they do little plays and stuff, like little Broadway stuff. I saw kids that were like, I'm like, man, one day you'll probably be a Broadway star. But then like drugs, alcohol, and partying happened, bro. And then I saw other kids that were like amazing athletes for basketball players, football players, or soccer players, and stuff like that. I'm telling you, bro, they could have been they could have made it big NFL status, NBA status, but they didn't make it. Why? Because drugs, alcohol, partying, these types of things happen. So, you know, the reason I mentioned that is why. Because, you know, this is a deem that makes everything clear for us, right? The things that were unclear for us. And I can't even blame those kids that I went to high school with. Why? Because a lot of times, first of all, I made the same mistakes that they did because I was also not a religious person at that time. I had some religious background, but if I would have had greater knowledge of my deen, I'm telling you, man, I would be a lot further ahead in life today than where I am now. But subhanAllah, everything happens by the will of Allah. And one of the reasons I share these types of stories with y'all, right, is because of the fact that I'm telling you this, man, straight up, man, 
If I would have never went through a lot of those mistakes that I made in my life, I would not be able to call y'all out and say, hey, I know what mistake y'all are making. I know what mistake y'all are making. I know what mistake y'all are making. But here's the solution how to avoid these mistakes. Because if I would have never went through those same mistakes, how would I be able to teach you? You know, how would I be able to give you some guidance and some advice on what to avoid and what to do in order to be the most successful you can be? So alhamdulillah, I'm grateful that Allah allowed for me to go the path that I went through to get here today. But one thing that Islam, you know, makes clear for us out of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is something which is so beautiful that no faith other than Islam really makes clear to us. And that is recompense.